Nine days before the end of the 20th century, R.E.M.'s Michael Stipe appeared on the short-lived Queen Latifah show, and he talked about scoring the film Man on the Moon, a Andy Kaufman biopic, and the best part of the interview is probably when he talks about the power of being a uh, rock star. I don't think he used those names, but talked about, maturely talked about social change and the, the power that they wield to suggest and slowly move a society in a direction. Frankly, that approach works better than any legislation. Thinking. Pondering. Evolving. is a very busy man. He's a singer, songwriter, photographer, poet, and film producer. He, along with his group REM, won four Grammy Awards and numerous other Rolling Stone Awards. You just saw a clip from the video uh, from the song that they composed for Man on the Moon. Please give a very warm welcome to the lead singer of the legendary band REM, Michael Stipe. <laughs> saying he's a this, a that, a that, because people, know. you know, they do that to you, you know, but you are all of that. You are all that, I'm actually. all that. So you scored the soundtrack for Man on the Moon. That's right. It's the first time the band has ever done a score for a movie. Yeah. It, was, it was really, I mean, it was very exciting to kind of, you know, usually within the context of the band for R.E.M., we work really selfishly for ourselves. We write right, the right. songs. Bring your visions across. Yeah, and just hope that there's an audience out there. Uh, with this project, we were working towards someone else's creative vision, Milos Forman. Who's an incredible director. He's an, Amadeus is oh my one of my God. favorite movies and oh going through over the cuckoo's nest. And now, how is that, how was it at all difficult for you to find his vision in your style? He's, a, he's Czechoslovakian. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been through a lot. He's in his 60s and he's an amazing man. He's lived an incredible life. Uh, it wasn't that hard working with him, actually. Right. The thing that he wanted was a lot of options. Right. And what, what, a score, what you do when you score a movie is you provide all the music that goes underneath the scenes and sometimes the music helps move uh, the characters through their story or it helps move one scene into the next. So we would give him five or six options uh, of music and, and, uh, and sit with him in the editing room while he, while he chose what he wanted. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool and the movie is great and I, I really Thank think you. Jim could get an Oscar. You might, you guys might get an Oscar for that score. Well, yeah. it's good. Thank you for I mean, it, it fits. It just, it feels right. It yeah. feels right. When you watch a movie and you see the music that goes along with it, it kind of takes you deeper into what the movie is about. You're not sitting there watching Jim Carrey, you're watching Andy Kaufman. Yeah. You know, so I, th I think he could really do well with it. I mean, for me, it's, a, it's, it's perfect because uh, music, obviously, I've, I've made my living as a musician. Mm -hmm. Music for me is a very powerful medium and film also is a very powerful medium. And to be able to combine the two and make it work, uh, which I think this film does right. very well. Why? Now why? why? Why step into films? I mean, you guys are like, you're legends. I, got already. My hands I mean, it's like, band, yeah. you got so much going and you guys are so successful. And let me, on a side note, thank you for that track, Everybody Hurts, because I was hurting at that time. Oh, and you're it, very welcome. And it made it be okay to hurt. You know what I mean? It made it all right for everyone. but. You've, you guys have kind of chosen the tough road. It's, you know, you've chosen to use your music in a social way, you know, to kind of deal with issues and, and, yeah. and kind of be responsible in a way as opposed to just, I mean, you can make a record about anything. You have that right, that freedom. Why do things that are more socially yep. responsible? Or Politics are a really big part of my life, and I can speak on, on behalf of the whole band in saying that we were, we were human beings before we were pop stars, and part of being a human being is, is uh, kind of checking out the place that you're at and finding out what's right and what's wrong about it. And you see an injustice and you want to do something. Right. Uh, as a public mm -hmm. figure, often you can get up and say, you know, I think the mayor of New York is a jerk. And, oh, yeah. And people, oh, yeah, people can say that. And people that. applaud. People enjoy people. saying that. Here. <laughs> people like enjoy that. <laughs> um, 
And traveling with the band, you know, seeing, when you move outside the U.S. and you see how we're looked at as a country in other places, mm. you begin to recognize that uh, other people, we, we cause a lot of harm in other places. We do, because a lot we of cause people a lot of harm us. at home. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's no easy solution, obviously, but right. if you can use whatever power you've got what to, you kind of, to kind of bring some things to light, then that's a good thing. It is a good thing. Yeah. So what's up, REM come back? Can we can we get another album, or uh, you guys are gonna starve us out? For no, a... we're writing. We're writing right now. <laughs> it, as you know, it takes a while. Oh yes. To get the stuff right, and so we're writing music right now. We're gonna go in the studio in May, uh, of 2000. Okay. And maybe there will be a record by the end of the year. May. Okay. I, I get free around that time. You you need, come if on you down. need an yeah. MC, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> I sing too. You know, you know, I'll I'll, I'll sing heard. for food. You know, let me know. <laughs> I'll just go on and jump on in on one of those records with you. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping Thank you. by, man. Thanks what a pleasure. Thank you for everything you guys do. You're really. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. I can't play a lick. That's why I'm a taper. Thanks for watching the channel and making it grow. If you want to subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Patreon and GoFundMe would be appreciated. Maybe I could get guitar lessons. <laughs>